trying something new today. I've got the uh, Odyssey Eye Signs in. Listening to right now the Die Hard soundtrack. My poor pan. I gotta use the uh, shopkeeper's friend, barkeeper's friend on it. Get that shine back. Um, it's weird listening to music while doing a Z cooks. Lower that. Yeah, lower it slower. Shut the screen off. Now, I had this weird inspiration. So it was in the food chats, and there's food chats, and it was in the food. It's about binging and babish, and it was doing the Rick and Morty, uh, the, the dipping sauce, because the Szechuan Mulan dipping sauce, everyone's got to have it. And he was talking about spicy, and I'm like, I really want something spicy. And then I screwed up because I decided on what I was going to have. It's going to be tortellini. And meatballs. So I have these pre-made meatballs. So, Zias, how are you gonna make this interesting? Because anyone can just buy pre-made meatballs, and you know, tortellini. If you're not rolling them, you're not even making a cooking video. But once it's spicy, and I wish you could hear how well this is going to the music right now. I still haven't cleaned my stove. Sorry. So this is here. Are the, here are the here are the hot ones. All right. Extra hot is one I can buy at my store. All right, it's fine. Triple, uh, quadruple extra hot, extra reserve, sorry, reserve, is sort of like the up edge of that. Still tolerable, I put it on food, it's great. When you want some heat, you put that on. These three, which I don't want to ruin it, because there will be a hot sauce tasting at some point, I will not do it by myself, go in particularly this order. Ghost is hot. Hotter than those two, but it's got good flavor. I like Ghost. Not just Jon Snow's dog. Then you got these two. And th the scorpion is world's hottest. Is there actually, it's all based on the Naga Jolica pepper. It's exact. This is the original Boot Jolica pepper. This is the Naga Jolica pepper. This is based on, I think, this. This one hits you fast and hard. And this one is like, oh, it's all right. Oh, it's one of those. It's one of those. And if you put both of these on something, then it hits you hard and then O's, and it's like, oh, so. I don't know if I'm feeling that today. I'm feeling that today. But I think Ghost, Ghost Meatballs, you know what? That'll be per. See, the problem is that's a great title for the video Ghost Meatballs and Tortellini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point longingly into things until something happens. I basically need to warm up some meatballs. I need to frost some meatballs because I'm going to pan fry the meatballs with some garlic and butter and hot sauce. So we're going to make the meatballs hot. Peel here to expose it. Go! I haven't had these before, obviously, so I don't know what the actual default flavor is going to be, but it's not going to be the default flavor when I'm done with it. How many meatballs do I want? That looks like it fits perfectly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit! Ten, eleven. I like leftovers. I know some people don't even eat leftovers, they just throw away their food. Like, no, I don't like leftovers. Poor Jay. Alright. Seal, you prick! Who designed this? the worst zipper ever. Isn't it, baby? Isn't it? I'll link to that. Note to self in future. Link to that. Anyone who's seen that anime, and that's an adorable anime about basically a girl who comes to town that knows everything about snack food, and that's literally what it is. It was paid for by the Snack Food Consortium in Japan, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, yeah. Need a little bit of water on this. cling wrap because they can't say Saran because Saran is a brand. Anyway, she's out of her mind in that anime. It's adorable and I love it because it's not even serious. There's no plot. It's just eat snacks, make jokes. I ran out of the 12 episodes. I'd pay for a whole nother season if it was like a Kickstarter. So we're going to give these... 
90 seconds. 90 seconds. I'm gonna move this so I'm stepping around it every freaking second. Tortellinis take how long? I may want to hold off on this. Actually, you know what? I cut up that onion too. I'm gonna bring that to a boil then lower it. How long is this gonna take? Petroleum boiling water, salt to taste, eight to 10 minutes. Salt to taste. I'm running out of my, actually I do iodized salt for, oh, I'm really out of that. Shit, in fact. I do iodized salt for boiling water with pasta because it, I don't know, it just tastes saltier. If that makes any sort of sense. Right through his hand it went. I paid for that salt, you're coming out of there. Okay, so that's salted roughly enough. Maybe just a little, little touch more. It's a lot of water. I didn't need that much water for this much tortellini, but yeah, you sort of do. This is the pound, right? So 10 minutes. Will I be done? Well, that's gonna be done in 21 seconds, or I'm gonna check it. I really need to get a sauteed onion going in here, which is gonna involve cutting an onion, which is, I know you guys love watching me cut onions. Half an onion. Half an onion. So that half, this half can go. Onion storage by Zeos. On top of the apples. Close, close, close. I'm gonna heat this pan up. I'm gonna do exactly seven. I think if I went back and if I really spoke about what levels I was on, I could dissect. Wow, that didn't do shit. Two more minutes. I could dissect how this oven works if I just kept repeating like, oh, I'm at seven and a quarter now for 13 seconds. What if I'm breathing differently because I can't hear myself because I'm listening to music? I don't know what's playing now. Sounds very haunted house, like movie soundtrack. I want to make this real fine, like... The problem with this knife is... I don't know how to use it. So. You should never hit. You should just slice. It takes a lot of discipline to be, get really good at a knife. You gotta work under, like, top chefs for years and years. Now, I'm gonna get where this onion is too thin to stand up right now. Then I gotta lay it down. Chop, 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 chop. And now I'm gonna take it and rotate. Either rotate the board or rotate the, or you walk around it. Tiny little slivers. Okay. Good enough. Now, garlic. I always keep a vat of this. This comes with oil in it too, but... Oh, man. We're not even close to ready for that, but I'm just gonna... I'm also gonna rinse the lid because it feels like the next time I gotta open this, it's never gonna happen. So. Let's close it just, just enough. In fact, once you push this down, you could unscrew that a little bit because that's already sealing it. Meatballs, meatballs. This is gonna go great with some grated cheese. Over my so spicy amita ball. That's it. I'm getting super Italian. Super Italian now. I'm even going to throw a little bit of this in there because I love using my spice grinders. All right, that's starting to do a thing. Olive oil. 
I wish I had gas. I wish I had gas. Not the kind of gas that you report about on the telegram. Like the cooking kind. That is a lot of onion, actually. Even half an onion was a lot of onion. Clean off your knife. Make sure you rub your hands right over the sharp edge. I always shake it sharp side up in case I smash the sink. I don't ruin the edge because I'm good, but I, you know, I trust, trust caution more than anything else. And of course, all the tools I want to use are dirty and I don't prepare and I never prepare because it's a Z cook. Wow, that is on there. That's going to need to soak. Hot water. Boom. We'll be going with silicone today. Ever watch that cooking show where the guy cleans his dishes while he's cooking because he's so fucking lazy? Yes. You mean the Z Cooks Consortium? Ever watch that Consortium cooking channel? I like that we use that name because who gives a shit about that name? All right. Do I want to salt this? I mean, I'm going for heat. The meatballs are going to have salt, but... I can't not salt. Pepper? 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 Peter Piper? Oh, those are nice and defrosted now. And warm? Not so bad. I don't want to heat them up. I just wanted to salt them. Or to soften them. They should be defrosted all the way through. A little bit of moisture in there is not going to hurt us. If you ever look, one of my favorite hot sauces, which I really need to go pick it up if I could find it, is called uh, Pain is Good. And their first ingredient is carrots. Because carrots just absorb whatever you put on them. And if you put spices on them, then they get really hot. And that's what holds it in there. Just like, I bet you didn't know that salt, liquefied salt, mo actually no, I'm sorry, they call it molten salt. Because just like steel, it takes a lot of heat to melt salt to a liquid. And that is what's used in solar power plants where they use those mirrors to shine, you know, one, shine the sun into one point at the top. What's in that top thing that all those mirrors are shooting at is literally salt. Yeah, I got 10 minutes. And it melts the salt with the heat of the sun and they can pump it through massive pipes to boil water far away somewhere and turn generators. It's all about turning generators. I was lazy. Um, ten min oh, 10 minutes is on the clock. Excellent. And that's a lot of water for that pot. Yeah, so molten salt, actually, anytime you're talking about uh, a solar power plant, they're not using the type that you can buy and stick in your car where it converts it. They're literally just pointing the heat of the sun at something, getting that thing really hot, in which case it is usually molten salt, and then running that salt past water, which is going, fuck, that's hot, and boiling, turning steam generators. You don't get this sort of information on any other cooking show. You don't. I gotta get my cousin and sister just spouting random bursts of information. Although, my sister is a mucus doctor. Well, she's a mucus therapist for babies. So I don't know how she's gonna help inform your life. Can't hurt though, right? All right I think I'm gonna add this stuff now to the onions. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 stupid. Whoa. All right, meatballs and a little bit of that water we put in there. Get on it, boys. Get on it. Ow! Something just something bit me. Whoa! Whoa! Let's get creative again. Z Cooks needs to get creative again. He needs to have these urges to have 
a spicy meatball. I should have tasted a meatball before I did this, just to see what the, uh, I'm sure it's not spicy. And I probably should cut them in half, honestly, to get a little more surface area, but that'll ruin the pictures. I should have put the pasta over there as well. Oh yeah, they're definitely just picking up. The color is just everywhere now. Everything is red. Cheese tortellini and so spicy meat the balls. Put you back, you're done. I want to try something, but I, that's why my stove's a mess. Just trying to get everything to touch everything. And let's put this up a little bit. I'll get some, some actual browning on these balls. Add more oil. I should have add butter, honestly. But I'm going to try to bring the heat up. You don't want to add butter too early in a dish because if it stays there forever, it'll burn. And if it's too hot, it'll burn. You're better off just oil until you're ready for the end. I got nearly seven more minutes in those tortellini, which, by the way, stirring with this is definitely putting some of that into the water, which is probably putting oil on the top, hot oil on the top. That's way too much water. Old wives tail my butt. All right, I need to take it off high is what I need to do. You want some tortellinis and soup, honey? Uh, no, murder balls? Zeus is hot as spicy murder balls. Yeah, we're getting nice brown on that now. All right. I don't want to burn the onions, although heat, like actual temperature heat, will remove heat. I know that from steaks. If I do a steak up real spicy and then broil it and it just gets hit or throw it on the barbecue, it will not be as hot as it would have been if I would have just baked it or put all that stuff on afterwards. Oh yeah, we're starting to get a little bit of a sticking happening now. I'm gonna... I don't want to add more oil, because I want to add butter. I mean, we're getting browning, so that's probably good enough. I don't have to deglaze my meatballs. God, I love these eye signs. I guess a little less than that. See, I only went to like eight. That was already a big difference. Are these all floating? Those are all floating, so not to mess with those anymore. Slight deglaze for fun. Oh. <laughs> what I just did was splash water into the pan, which turned instantly to steam, taking with it some ghost pepper sauce and I can fucking tell you it's gonna be hot All right. lower the in fact you know what I'm offing the balls balls are off because everything's here is perfect these onions are exactly how I want them fuck okay so glad I wanted spicy. Ho <laughs> Where's my how much milk do I have? That was too many shakes of hot sauce. And then I put the red pepper flakes on it. Just for that little bit too much. Alright. The real problem. The real stupid thing, and if you're watching this at home, which, God, I hope you are, and I hope this video gets 10,000 views, but what carries heat, almost as good as carrots, is fat. And I'm going to basically, that's a pound of tortellini, that th this is not going to do anything to it. So I'm going to give it a nice big chunk of butter in here. And what that's going to now do, since I'm stupid, don't knock that off the stove. All that stuff that's stuck to the bottom, 
Well, it's gonna just come right up. I'm listening to the Lion King soundtrack now. So basically the fats are now, the fats and the butter are just going to pick up all that stuff that I would have left behind and bring it along for the fucking ride through my bowels. Remind me to never eat or cook. I should not have a cooking channel. This is the problem with the internet. It needs to be banned. Support the Trans-Pacific Partnership so that my channels can be banned. Keep in mind, this is off for like the last five minutes. It's just that this pan is so thick that it's just holding all that, all that weight, all that heat. Luckily this stuff isn't scraping off the bottom, so I think I'm just, just sort of incorporating butter to my meatballs. I think once this, yeah, I'm not gonna take it out of the pan, but I'm gonna leave it in there until those are done. I'm not, oh, I wanna be so, I wanna be lazy and just take that after I've drained it and just toss it in here. And then I could just serve out of this, but I know what that's gonna do. Th those are like my, please cool off my meatball. That's the half that isn't hot. And this is the half that's fucking dumb. So, oh, that just looks fucking amazing by the way, just shiny balls. Covered in little white, just maggot looking. Mmm! And the garlic, and the garlic. Garlic is a bit spicy on its own. Minute and a half. I could feel they're getting softer just by hitting them with the spatula. Alright. Why aren't you stopping? Never. And there's another problem with electric, too, is that doesn't cool off immediately. That's still cooling off. This. See this stuff here? You have no idea how hot that stuff is right there. Keeping it separate is nice. Mixing it all together is nice. I mean, it's a pound of it. Serving it. The problem is, is like, how do I serve this onto things? If I just throw it in here and toss it around, it's, it's done. Then I just serve the whole thing into a, into a bowl. Where's my good bowl? I guess I'll use one of my... Which bowl do you want to die with? That one. Made with recycled glass in California. So my mother is moving in present to me. We went to a shop nearby. This was the cheapest thing. They were like $21 a piece. And one shattered like a week later. I love how Can You Feel the Love Tonight is playing in my headphones right now. Or... Well, that'll be enough. All right. Thank you. Uh, it's time to taste. Tortelloni. They might need another minute. Now, tortellini will hold a lot more heat than most macaroni because it's a solid block, so try not to just bite right into that. It was just in 212 degree water. Guess how much it it's a, how much it, how much heat it retained. It's a hard thing to say. Yeah, another minute. Well, the tortellinis are good at least. Still, still sizzling. It'll still boil water. What is going on? Oh my gods. I gotta take a picture of this. For the Z Cooks Consortium Telegram, which you can join at $5 a month. Of course I left my phone somewhere else. camera check the lens it's always filthy Just go for that zoom effect oh it's real dark all right 
I should probably post that on Instagram as well. Isn't this fun? Why don't you edit this out, Zeus? Uh, because shut up. Meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. Oh, meatballs are there. Next. Filter my meatballs. Ooh, Lark. Juno's a little too dark. Ooh, yeah, I think like Lark. Ooh, yes, definitely. Mm-hmm, yep. Hashtag a spicy meatball. 32 public posts with that already. Shit, I didn't hashtag it with z -cucks. How do I edit this? How do I edit this? Here we go. Edit. Damn it, that's my bagel. I want the other thing. Here we go. Those should be done. I know those are done. Hashtag Z Cooks. Yes. Check mark. Um. Ow. And I'm not even going to try them again because I know how long they had to be in there for and I know that I've given them... You could have called them very al dente the first taste. Don't have to put too much hot water down your sink. That's why you run cold water at full blast. Oh, it's still bending shit. And you don't want to rub the starch off either. You don't want to rinse off macaroni after you put it down the drain, but... Alright, you're done. I don't know what's playing in my headphones right now. It's fucking weird. Grated cheese. I have a little bit of this left. That's not going to be enough. Which means... Boom! Going legit for this one, boys. And girls. Did meet a girl who watches Z Cooks. She was at the can gym with a boyfriend who watches me. So she's sort of forced into it, really. This is all the greasy butter, and I want to get that greasy butter. Mm, you're stupid! By the way, colanders are the worst things to have be dirty. So just pretend it's never dirty. It's only starch. Calm down. I can't. The, the, the convenience of just tossing this in here and then just like... And now it's covered in butter and meatballs. My word. Yeah, we got to integrate the onions in there. It really needs to have... This is going to hurt so bad when I poop. Serve this to your friends and your enemies. All right. See, it seems like 11 meatballs wasn't enough meatballs now, doesn't it? I'm not going to cheese the entire thing. I'll cheese personal dishes. So, so we've got two meatballs. Nice shiny pasta. Moving over to the cheesing station. That's going to get dumped. Like I just said, don't cheese the tired thing. And I took this out, so you guys are expecting me to use it. Again, top tip. Keep this in the bag and you don't have to clean it. It's been in there for months. It's just my cheese grater now. Don't take your hands off if you could avoid it. And be careful if you're doing this over your cooked brownies, which is what I'm currently doing, because you'll eventually get some cheese in your brownies, and that'll be bad. Unless you're a weirdo and you like cheesy brownies, in which case, marry me. Nicole, I know you're watching. I'm, ra I'm randomly assuming someone named Nicole is watching, and she's really turned on by cheesy brownies. I may have to change this bag. It's been abused. 
All right. Where's my milk? Damn. I just threw my phone on the floor. Awesome. Awesome. All right, water's here. I literally have a container of milk. I'm assuming now time will also calm things down. You know, just because it was hot when I tried it 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes from now, it'll be even less hot. Hot goes away as you, as you wait. Time heals all ills. All right, I'll try just some pasta first. Mmm. Oh, there's some heat there. But nothing insane. Thank God I'm not stupid enough to do the scorpion or the naga jolica. Mmm. Oh, yeah. The meatball. <coughs> They, uh, mm. <coughs> they held the heat like I had planned them to. The butter. All right. I need to just. Mm. Mm. Sinus problems, you say? Now here's the thing about drinking water. Well, the heat in your mouth will rinse down your throat and burn it. So let's do that first. Uh, fuck. Uh, that is a spicy meatball. I know what that means now. I've never, like, does anyone ever said that after having a spicy meatball? Now, the meatball makes the pasta downright tolerable. Three of them. Oh. Okay. The flavor is all there. Mmm. This is really good. We made this without the heat, but just the red pepper flakes. We can get away with it. The problem happens. Oh. Oh yeah. I might stop crying like a bitch and just rub my like my nose is just gonna be running. Forever. <clears throat> mm. Alright, I'm gonna have a sip of this. I mean, it all makes sense. Milk, and then the cheese, and the cheese tortellini, so it's all good. Oh. Alright. That was your spicy meatball tortellini. Fuck, is what that was. I don't think I put that word in it. It's just water now. There will be much left over. Because if I ate that whole thing, I'd die. Mm. I'll link to the ghost pepper sauce. Actually, I'll link to the... Fuck, I'll link to all the sauces. Keep in mind, as fucked up as I feel now, either one of these would have been worse. Mar like, not marginally. Significantly. I do like Melinda's flavor though, so there you go. Enjoy.